So next we are looking at the following sequence square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n and we are asking ourselves what is the limit of this sequence if n tends to infinity and there's a simple trick on how to do it and as uh, the first term is bigger than the second term obviously this whole term is always bigger or equal than zero so we can use the binomial formula exactly this one a minus b times a plus b equals a square minus b square and we can reformulate this into a minus b equals a square minus, minus b square divided by a plus b and uh, the first term represents a, the second term represents b so we can reformulate this to square root of n plus 1 squared minus square root of n squared and divided by n plus 1 uh, square root of this and then minus square uh, plus in this case plus square root of n so, so obviously square root of square root and um, square they cancel both out here so we can simplify this a little bit more into n plus 1 minus n divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n and this then becomes becomes just 1 divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n and we can actually consider a bigger sequence in terms of this one and we can just yeah do an estimation to a bigger sequence uh, by just reducing the, the term here on the bottom and we can just reduce it and remove the plus 1 and then just have square root of n plus square root of n and this equals 1 divided by 2 times square root of n and if n tends to infinity this whole term becomes 0 so this all sequence tends to 0 if n goes to infinity it's easy to see it here obviously you can also see it also here yeah because we are adding the terms on the bottom it becomes obvious that this term here on the bottom tends to infinity as well if n goes to infinity. I just felt like it might be also useful to do this estimation so that, yeah, that you can just see it very clearly here um, that the term goes to zero in, if n goes to infinity. So what does this tell us? This tells us 0 is uh, smaller or equal than our sequence a n and um, or the limit of the sequence a n and this is also smaller or equal than 0 and this tells us the limit of a n if n tends to infinity is exactly 0 so I hope this uh, example and this trick was useful to you. If yes, please hit thumbs up and uh, comment and subscribe. See you next time.